Hi, and welcome to this tutorial on how to use and populate the OneSAS agreement. This guide will walk you through the document step by step, explaining how the document operates and how to complete the required fields. Let's dive in. The OneSAS agreement consists of three main components. First, the cover page, which contains the details of the parties, the key terms, and any supplemental documentation. Second, the standard terms, which form the core legal framework and should remain unaltered. And third, the supplemental documents. These can be included as annexes and referenced in the supplemental documents table within the key terms. By executing the cover page, the parties automatically incorporate the OneSAS standard terms by reference. You may attach a reference copy if needed. Before you begin, it's important to understand the distinction between the key terms and your order form, if you have one. Many SaaS providers already have their own order form that includes provisions specific to their service. You can still use your own order form alongside one SaaS. However, you must still complete the key terms section because it contains essential references needed for the agreement to function properly. If there's overlap between your order form and the key terms, you can write C order form in the key terms instead of repeating information or mark conflicting fields as NA. If the key terms already include everything you need, then a separate order form is not necessary. Now let's go to the cover page and how to complete it. As you'll see, sample language is provided throughout the key terms as a starting point, but you can amend it as needed to fit your specific needs. Any optional sections may be deleted entirely if they don't apply to your agreement. Some provisions have two options to choose from, like the dispute resolution method, for example. This is to give you a starting point for two of the most common positions. You may still amend the language as you see fit. Now, let's start filling in the cover page. The first section is general terms, which includes essential contract details that must be completed. Enter the agreement start date, which is the date the contract takes effect. Specify the governing law, which determines the jurisdiction governing the agreement. Next, choose how disputes will be resolved. There are two options here, but you may amend this section as needed to reflect your preferred dispute re resolution method. Then define what qualifies as documentation, such as user guides, technical specifications, or other materials related to the services. And finally, decide whether the provider may use the customer's name and logo in promotional materials. If this doesn't apply, delete the section. Next, we have the services and usage section, which defines the scope of services and how they may be used. Provide a clear description of the SaaS solution being offered. Define the level of technical support included in the agreement. Specify the customer's permitted use of the services. List who within the customer's organization may access the services. Define affiliates if applicable, and if the customer's affiliates will be using the services, set out their rights here. If not, delete the section. If there are any additional use rights and limitations beyond the standard use of the services, those should be set out here. Now let's talk about payment terms. If the provider has their own order form, these fields are often included there. If that's the case, mark these fields as NA in the key terms. Otherwise, outline the charges for the services, specify how often invoices are issued, and define when and how invoices must be paid. The next section is data and suspension, which outlines what happens to customer data after contract termination. Define the data export period, which is how long the customer has to retrieve the data post termination, if that applies. Then define the data deletion period, which determines when the provider must delete customer data. Now let's move on to usage and limitations. This section is optional, so if it doesn't apply, you can delete it in its entirety and renumber the remainder of the key terms as needed. If you want to define any restrictions on how the services may be used, list them here. If there are any additional charges for exceeding usage limits, specify them under overage fees. If the services cannot be used in high-risk environments, such as financial or he healthcare settings, for example, that should be defined in high-risk use restrictions section. If the provider may transmit customer content to a third-party application or service, set out the rules around that process here. Now let's talk about special provisions. We've included this section to enable modifications that will make the agreement fit for purpose. However, this section should only be used if absolutely necessary, because unnecessary customizations can delay contract execution and erode the value of standardization. Any modifications to the standard terms should go here. You must not redline the standard terms. If no modifications are needed, delete the section and renumber the remainder of the agreement as appropriate. Next is supplemental documents, which should only be included if required. 
Incorporate any additional documents, addendums or policies as needed. If you need an SLA or DPA, remember you may use one SLA or one DPA, which are both fully interoperable with one SAS. Before executing, review all sections carefully to ensure all required fields are completed. If you're using your own order form, make sure you've indicated where fields are covered. Delete any irrelevant sections to keep the document streamlined and ensure that any modifications are placed in the special provision section. And finally, obtain signatures from authorized representatives. Once signed, the agreement is legally binding and incorporates all reference terms. That's it. You now know how to complete the OneSAS agreement. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out via our standards community or by email. Thanks for watching and happy contracting.